Hello guys, and today I want to show you my carnivorous plants, the Venus flytrap, and the Pinta ventrata. So where you can find these plants, the Venus, you can find it in big box stores. And then I'm going to throw in the Pinta in a local um, a plant store that's around you or somewhere else. So how the Venus flytrap works, it has three little trigger hairs. You can see it right there. And um, uh, if it touches one, it has a 30 second timer. And if it touches a second hair before 30 seconds, then the Venus Y turp will close and it'll eat the bug. Sometimes they get lucky and escape. And a day later, they'll open again. But if they eat them, then seven days later, they'll open again. So there's a lot of new growth down there. I don't know if you can see it. There it is. And um, uh, on a Pentas Ventrata, there's some new growth up there that you can see. And how it works is um, it has like nectar around it. And um, uh, it attracts like bugs and stuff like that. Um, then then, it, then um, uh, if it goes down like inside the pitcher a bit, it's slippery. Then the bug tries to escape, but then it gets caught inside a liquid. And then it tries to escape, but then it just dies there. So that's how it works. So the Venus flytrap is looking very good, just those two black ones, some beetles killed it that we fed it. And our Nepenthes, we haven't fed it anything, but it's still going good. And also, you need a special type of soil, so we just have it in the soil that it came with. And then you also want to spray water it and spray water it with distilled water. Other water that has minerals can easily kill your Venus flytrap. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video so far. So and so just thank you for supporting my channel. Um uh, one day I would like to um uh, be a, a Venus flytrap and the Panthers and try to grow a carnivorous plant grower. So thank you for subscribing, liking, and hitting that notification bell. Bring. So thank you guys for watching and I hope you've enjoyed this video. Bye!